it's the next day um, and we are now going to drain some of the water out of the engine. I'm not going to completely replace the wheel at this time. I'm just going to drain it down to get all the water out or as much as I can and we're going to try and see if it will start. If it starts then we will replace all the fluids and do what we can. It's no point in replacing putting new oil and replacing things if we don't even know whether or not this thing will run. So I've taken it apart uh, or stripped off some of the components as you saw in the time lapse um, just for easier access and for filming and uh, let's get going. It might be a Dutch okay. over full. So this definitely indicates that there's a lot of water in this engine. Um, the big problem we are facing currently is that it's almost completely impossible to get any kind of tool or spanner or socket onto that number 22 drain plug. It can't fit through there. I don't have anything that's narrow enough to go through. I thought I might be able to fish through the socket, place it and then open that up. So um, I don't want to, if at all possible, unbolt the engine from its mounts and jack it up to just change the oil, which kind of seems that that's going to be the option for us now. I'm not seeing any other type of oil drain, so, uh, problems. Okay, so we are preparing to um, add diesel into this thing. There's a couple of interesting things that needs to be fixed. Like, number one, uh, this fuel filter is the wrong way around. Not that it's supposed to be there at all, but uh, I'm going to quickly take that off and turn it around because the guy that I bought it from did say that they had some diesel delivery issues. I have taken off the um, injector steel line to the injector self so that we can see if we can gravity bleed the system and get some diesel out of there um, i have a half a mind to bypass this electrical pump which is not supposed to be in here anyway um, as far as i know there should have been some sort of inline filter or glass bowl sediment bowl and um, a shutoff valve that seems to have been uh, removed doesn't seem to be water in the diesel as far as I can tell I don't want to fill up the tank too much um, as there's no shutoff valve there's no real way to stop the diesel from just continuing to drip out if we have a leak in the system so I'm gonna quickly look around for some line and see what we can make up. Thank <laughs> you. 
soft broken my golden rule never ever buy something that does not run but i did and now in four penny in four pound um one of the big issues that we have here is it doesn't seem like i'm going to be able to start this without some major major work 